This is Boston Talk 8576. Man, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, for those who don't want to hear this, you know, don't don't even look at the video because I'm going to talk about something that has to do with something far greater or far more important than boxing. Um, I've been following closely the Colin Kaepernick situation. I have not uh, made a video about it, but um, I've just been sitting back, look at, listening to the reaction of other people who have uh, commented on it. And uh, I, I looked at uh, an interview with uh, Trent Dilford when he said that Colin Kaepernick should have not used uh, football as his platform for his uh, calls and his uh, his uh, his his uh, his his, his uh, concern for inequality of his uh, bl of black and brown people in America that are being um, unjustly uh, and you know uh, disproportionate uh, shot by police officers, and he should not use the podium that the NFL gave him. That he should just sit back and be the backup quarterback and get the starting quarterback, you know, ready to play because it's a team game and he's messing up the team. I have a message for uh, Trent Delford. America is the ultimate team. That should be the ultimate team. That surpass, surpass, surpass any sport, basketball, football, baseball, hockey, anything, any sport. And what Colin Kaepernick is, is saying essentially is Team America is not being uh, held accountable or are not being a team to everyone within the United States. He feels black and brown people are not being treated like teammates that they should be treated in Team USA. And far as him being a backup quarterback and knowing his place, see, Trent Differ, this is bigger than football, way bigger than football. I commend Colin Kaepernick. This young man has made a stand. He's not disrespecting the flag. The, the military and the people who serve this country fought, yes, for freedom to do what Colin Kaepernick is doing right now. And he's having the freedom of protest. He's not being violent. He's not cussing no one out. What he's doing is a protest that is not violent at all. He's just taking a knee. He said he's not going to stand up for the American flag because of the people that are being in jest and are not being treated fairly. I agree with him totally. Um, the people who died for the country uh, gave him that right to do what he do what he's doing. And what he's what he essentially is doing is he's making people uncomfortable because change cannot come until you make people uncomfortable about your situation or what you're going through or what others are in your position are going through. People won't listen when like I was looking at Skip Bayless new show Undisputed. When Shannon Sharp said when teachers go on strike, they don't wait to after the day is over and say, OK, let's strike. No, they strike before work starts. The police union, they they strike and go on strike before work starts. You have to do it before you have to make people uncomfortable. You have to hit people in their pockets. You have to do something that's going to get their attention to pay attention to what you're talking about. And he knew if he took a knee on the biggest platform, which is the NFL is the biggest sport in America. A lot of people are paying attention and watching that sport. He knew that he was going to get a lot of attention. Kudos to him. He recognized that, you know, I have to make a sacrifice for someone else or other people so they can have a light shine on their situation. That's called being selfless. He's not worried about him being in the NFL. He's not worried about potential endorsements or, and Brandon Marshall lost endorsements for uh, doing the same exact thing. You see, people are uncomfortable and 
let's let's just go through history. Dr. Martin Luther King marched on Washington. That was that made people uncomfortable. All those people that were with him and joined him in arm arms. Rosa Parks refusing to sit at the back of the bus made people uncomfortable. Uh the 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 brothers that ho they held their, their fists up in the 1968 Olympics, Tommy Smith and John Carlos doing the national anthem one of the, one of them won gold, one of them won bronze. The national anthem, America's national anthem was being played. They held up the black fist. They made people uncomfortable. The conversation started. Just what Colin Kaepernick is doing. He started the conversation. Now people are actually talking about solutions to the problem. Because once you stand up for something, yeah, of course we have to start, we have to stand up for something, but then we have to start finding solutions to the problem. And now people are having dialogue about it. You having people that never really knew about the uh the problem in the black neighborhoods between the cops and the and, and the uh you know the black males mostly of what's going on. So I like what Colin Colin Kaepernick is doing. People need to stop talking about him disrespecting the flag and start talking about what he's standing for, what the big idea is about. He's doing it to draw attention because people are not listening. They're not listening. They don't believe it until it happens to them. It's mostly happen, happening in the black communities. We've been saying this for years that is unjust. Yes. Are there good cops out there? Yes, there are good cops out there. Of course. But when you have bad cops out there doing bad things and other cops are not holding them accountable and they have the strength and the power to do whatever they want to you because they are the law or they, they have the ego just so big that they feel that they're above the law in many cases. To me, that's the most dangerous thing ever is for a police officer to have all that power to do what he want with you. And you can do nothing about it because he has the law behind him and he has a weapon. So Colin Kaepernick, continue doing what you're doing, man. I'm behind you uh, 100%. I don't think you disrespected the flag. I just think you're trail you, you're trailblazing. You calling you causing attention to a cause that needs to be uh, attention to because it can tear away the, 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 the fabric and a lot of things that were done in the 1960s in the fifties, all the progress that they made, it can turn that and it can start going backwards. We need to go forward, not backwards in this country. So it's team USA that we're worried about Trent Delford, not the national football league we're worried about team usa let's all be a team in the in the u.s and everything else will take care of take care of itself so you know hashtag team usa i'm out